So how much does it actually cost to live in Phoenix, Arizona? If we haven't met yet, my name is Mana, I'm with Lone Depot, and I'm helping you achieve home ownership with Aloha. So I've been living in Arizona for roughly almost a year, actually, uh, 10 months or so. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the day-to-day uh, -day costs or expenses you'll be paying if you plan on living here or moving here to Phoenix, Arizona in 2022. The first area I wanna talk about for the first expense that you're gonna have, one of the, maybe the second largest expense would be for your car, for transportation. Uh, one drawback of living in Phoenix, Arizona is that public transportation, it's kind of lacking here. I really haven't noticed any buses or anything. I kind of stay in the outskirts. I, I don't go into the city much, but I know there are some public transportation down uh, in the city limits, but I personally have not ridden them. I, ha I, I have no experience with it, but you will need to have your own vehicle in Arizona. Everything is so spread out, you know, there, it's not really walking distance anywhere. Plus with the heat in the summer, you definitely do not want to be out there walking. So one of the main uh, expenses you're going to have with your vehicle is gas. Right now, Arizona, it's May in 2022. And if you follow any news or anything, you know that gas prices have gone up. Uh, Arizona is kind of ranked a little higher or averages a little higher than the national average. I'm used to having higher gas prices from Hawaii where we normally pay higher gas prices than other states. But, you know, when I when we first moved here, I was loving it. It was $2.70 for a, a gallon of diesel. You know, right now we're paying about $5.39. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need for your car is car insurance, right? Arizona actually ranks a little lower than the national average. The average in Arizona is gonna be around $15.47 and uh, the national average is a little over $1,600. So, you know, that's, that's a plus. Next thing you're gonna need to do is do, you're gonna need to maintain your vehicle. You're gonna have to do regular oil changes. That is one thing I didn't do consistently enough before I met my wife. So I can thank her for getting me into the habit or even just the mindset of continuously maintaining my vehicle. Uh, we have an awesome Jeep dealership right down the road for both of our Jeeps, Larry H. Miller over in Surprise. Uh, we take our vehicles there. It's an awesome place to go. They have a, like a special if you prepay for three oil changes. You know, for our older 2011, uh, it's it's like 165 for high mileage uh, for every three oil changes. And they do like a tire rotation and everything. It's awesome. Uh, for our newer Jeep, we haven't had to pay for oil changes yet because it's still under warranty, but I believe it's gonna be around 265, 270 for, for a diesel engine and um, it's, it's just because parts and oil filters and everything are it's a little more when it comes to those diesel engines. But, you know, just maintain your car. The, the more consistently you can do your oil changes, don't wait too long. It's going to pay off in the long run. You know, you need that vehicle out here. So take care of it and it'll take care of you. Next section is going to be housing. So the fair market rent for a three bedroom in Arizona right now is uh, around 1825. You know, it, rent out here averages between 1000 to 2100, uh, give or take a few. Uh, so just just plan ahead. You know, it's uh, fairly affordable still compared to um, what I'm used to. Now, if you're looking to purchase out here, median home price in Arizona is about 382. And if you follow the news, you know, Arizona has been one of the faster home appreciation or even rent prices have gone up a lot in the last few years. So compared to historically, you know, it, it has gone up but it's still very affordable. Now, if with that median price, if, if you just take a general rule and estimate what your monthly payments are gonna be, it's gonna be like roughly between 22.92 and uh, 2,500 a month. Rent, technically, if you look at it in the short term, it's gonna be cheaper by about $256. Now, if you factor in the tax implications, you know, rent, you're putting in 
21,900 for the next year. When you own your home, the interest that you pay is tax deductible. So if you only take the principal that you're paying into your mortgage for the next year, you're paying around 4,600. So that's a lot of savings uh, just by owning your home. And I did a 4% appreciation in home prices. You know, we've been seeing about 28%. I wanted to be very conservative. You know, historically home prices appreciate at 3%. So I just went with 4%. If you take your net worth into consideration, if you rent the next year, you're gonna be at zero. But if you own with the, the home appreciation and the amount that you paid down on in your principal, you're gonna be uh, $58,000 ahead in, in a year from now if you own. So just keep that in mind. If you qualify, don't wait, just purchase instead of renting. So one of the next things I want to talk about is utilities. You know, uh, I noticed for from just from my personal experience, Arizona is fairly cheap, uh, very affordable when it comes to uh, utilities. You know, we average about 125 a month right now for our uh, our electricity bill. We were paying around the same thing in Hawaii, but that was for our 800 square foot townhouse. And right now we live in a 2000 square foot home. So that's a plus. Our gas average every month came out to 33.90. You know, sometimes it'll be as low as 19 and as high as 50, but I averaged it out. It came out to 33.90 a month. To be honest, this was my first time having to pay for gas. Uh, it seems fairly affordable to me. And uh, waste management, which is trash, uh, for them to pick up our trash is $30 a month. So the next expense that you're gonna have is groceries. Compared to what I'm used to, Arizona is very affordable. We pay a lot less here than we ever did in Hawaii. And it all depends on what you're used to. Some people may say it's a little more expensive here. So I just got a general list here. And if you were to purchase this whole list, it'll come out to about $175. You know, we don't always get this list, but these are some of the general stuff. Uh, milk was like $5.49 a gallon. Uh, eggs, $5.49 for 18 count. Bacon, $6.99 a pound. Pork butt, my wife loves when I smoke some pork butt and it's, it's averaging about $1.79 a pound. Ribs. Another thing we like to smoke uh, is about $3.99 a pound steak. She loves when I cook her some steak. We always usually go for uh, ribeyes and that comes about to what, $12.99 a pound. Uh, brisket is another thing we love to smoke. Uh, my father-in-law taught me how to smoke a brisket because you know my wife's from Texas, she loves brisket. And that was one thing that she really requested that I learn to smoke. And funny story. My wife bought me a smoker for Christmas a few years ago with the intent of me learning to smoke things that she wants. So in, was it really a gift for me or was it a gift for her? I don't know, you be the judge. Another thing, you know, we, lettuce, I had to add that in, $1.49 each, uh, sweet onions, $1.39 a pound, green onions were like 50 cents each, celery $1.49 each, broccoli came out to like $1.49 a pound, beer, you always gotta have your beer. I like Coors Original and uh, that's about $19.99 for an 18 pack and another one that my wife introduced me to from the great state of Texas, Shiner Bach and that's $17.99 a pound and you know what I forgot dog food too. That's about 35 uh, for Blue Buffalo that we get our dogs. Now, if you haven't already, click the bell down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out this playlist for more advice on moving to Phoenix, Arizona, as well as some mortgage tips. So the next section I wanna talk about just some miscellaneous items, you know, for like entertainment, uh, dining out. Uh, my wife and I, we truth be told, we hardly ever dine out, but when we do, uh, we pay on average between fifty to hundred dollars, so you know it's fairly affordable compared to other places. Uh, sporting events, we love going to sporting events, and I checked out SeatGeek uh, for some averages on what it costs to check out some of these sports teams in Arizona. So, so Arizona Cardinals, uh, an average ticket is going to cost you about seventy-two dollars to watch Coyotes, which is the NHL team. It's going to be about seventy dollars. Phoenix Suns is about $82. Phoenix Mercury 
is gonna be about $39 average. And ASU is right down the road from us in Tempe. It's about an hour drive from our house. So we love going to football games and that's about $42 uh, on average. And basketball, we have not checked out basketball yet. That's, uh, that's another thing that we should definitely check out for uh, ASU. So Arizona also has a lot of outdoor activities that can be either low cost or no cost. So just, you know, keep that in mind if you, you, if you wanna do things on a budget. I'll see you on the next one.